Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am so excited to talk to you about Appen. I've spent a lot of 2021 testing out working from Appen, and yes, you can make a lot of real money with it, and it does pay a lot more than typical um, survey sites. So let's get into how you can get a job with Appen, how it works, everything you'll be doing, and all the good stuff. I started back in March and that's when I really started. I started at the end of the month, only made $9. From there in April, I made $714.45, followed by May, I made $693 and that's what, what I made for the whole month of May. And then in June is kind of when I, um, the projects I was working on kind of ended and I kind of took a summer break. I only made $72.10. And then in October, I started back up again probably hmm, er, mid-month or so I made $471.90 then in November I was able to make $999.15 and then in December of 2021 I made the most I've ever made with Appen which was $1,649.70 so let's talk for a minute about what Appen is Appen is a company that hires people to work from home as independent contractors. As an independent contractor, you get paid an hourly rate or a per task rate or whatever the contract is um, that you sign with Appen. You do the job and they pay you for the job. And that is just straight it. They don't take out taxes on you. So you're responsible if you're in a um, country or place that taxes you like the United States, you need to save money, put aside money and pay your own taxes out of that. Um, you don't have any benefits as far as paid time off, health insurance and nothing. It's straight. You work these hours, we pay you for these hours. That's kind of how an independent contractor position with Appen works. They do hire for lots of different opportunities. Uh, my favorite is social media um, evaluators, um, social media, anything in the social media or, or web research realm. Um, it's kind of like training AI, which is artificial intelligence, on learning human behavior so that they can program a machine to do certain things, but they need humans to help them. Um, you know, so it's kind of like, do you hear this audio? Yes or no? You know, is this really a person in this picture? Yes or no? Kind of, you know, um, computerized things have to be programmed um, to work as good as they do so that you're just kind of um, di doing different tasks to help out with that. Uh, they also have um, we'll go over the positions in a minute, but they also have other positions besides social media evaluators. So let's get into the app and dashboard and let me show you how you would sign up and um, get jobs. So when you first want to get started with Appen, you would go to the website connect.appen.com and you'll see this main home page here. You would hit the apply button. And then you would just fill out your basic information, your email address, create a password, your first and last name, your country, certify that you're at least 18 years old, and create an account. Once you hit that create an account button, it is going to send you an email confirmation, and you have to verify your email address. Once you verify your email address, you'll be able to log in for the first time. Upon logging in, you should have two options. You should either be able to complete your profile or browse for jobs. Please, please, please create your profile and finish filling out all the information before you browse for jobs. The information that is in your profile gives you access to more jobs because it finds jobs that you that it feels you are eligible to apply for. Once you create a profile with Appen, um, finish your profile, you can log into the dashboard and this is kind of what you'll see. At the very top, um, you'll have help, policy, chat, mobile devices you'll see this that you says you have 23 active processes and then you can log out a top uh, uh, across the top you will have academy social projects project tickets inbox my invoices privacy referrals and profile so if you're searching for projects to apply for you've created an account and you want to get started um, so you can get a job and start making money you would click on the projects tab and once that loads you'll see some options here suggested applied my projects and all projects 
So the two tabs I really use here are My Projects and All Projects. All Projects, you can see everything that's available for you to apply for and you can straight apply for projects from that tab. My Projects are things that you have applied for, um, finished the test for, been hired for, and you can actively work on. Now, some of these are old projects for whatever reason. They when projects in for what they don't remove them. Um, so I can't work all of these projects listed under my projects. But that's where you'll find the projects past and current that you have actively been hired to do. So let's start and go to the all projects tab. Um, you'll see here under project type. It'll say social media or search evaluation. So they have social media evaluators or search engine evaluators, data collectors, um, and they also have um, linguistics. Um, that's not really my field, but you can see here um, I'm, I'm not very educated in the li linguistics field, so I normally don't apply for those jobs, but they do pay $22 an hour. Um, so if that is your thing, Appen does, at least in the United States, pay very well and you can make a lot of money from it if you put in the time and effort that it takes. Um, it is a valid work from home job. You're not going to be spending all month working your butt off to make like $5. It is realistic uh, work from home. So what I like to do, um, they also have this filters button in the corner. So what I like to do when I am searching for jobs, I know personally um, from experience, I am more interested in the social media or search engine evaluator. So I will hit the filter button and you can filter by project types. So I want to filter out for myself uh, the linguistics and data collection. Um, I have tried some of the data collection in the past. It's just not as fun um, to me. And since I do this part time because I do have a full time job, I like the work to be fun and entertaining since I'm spending my free time outside of my full-time job, my nights and my weekends doing this. So I'm just going to click search evaluation and social media and then I'm going to hit apply filters. And so this will filter me to only the jobs that are for those project types. So once we've got it filtered, I can see down here if I scroll to the bottom that it is showing 1 through 10 of 39 projects. So there are 39 total projects that either fit a social media evaluator or a search evaluation that I currently qualify for that they will let me apply for. The next step that I do, you can see there's a second column that says task workload. Now I have been a part of projects before where the task workload says low and when it says low, it means low. Um, I get very little hours from that project. It's just something that occasionally they might have work and I may get an hour here or two hours there. So I try just to not apply for those projects at all. But um, you can work with Appen multiple projects at the same time, depending on if they're through different, um, different software programs. So as you can see on this, there's no actual work button. That is because this is just the system you use to log your hours, submit your invoices, get paid, get help if you need it, and apply for jobs. Once you get hired for the job, that actual job will send you information and a link to like a different um, website or software program to log into to actively work that job. Work is not done on this app and connect website. Um, so. I normally sort the task workload. I will click it twice to sort from highest to largest. So I will start looking at the projects that have above average workloads. Um, you know, this one's paying $9 an hour, but this one's paying $12 an hour. So once you um, find one that you're interested in, you can click the more button and it'll kind of give you the outline of if it's short term or long-term project, um, what kind of hours you should be expected to work, all that. So the eligibility for this is commit to 20 or to 40 hours for one to two weeks. So this project is um, specifically short-term, one to two weeks, but you would get 20 to 40, so you'd get a lot of hours for those two weeks. Um, you've got to have a good understanding of English and a laptop or a desktop. Um, and then this actually tells you right now this project is full or complete. So I would not be applying for this project at this time. 
And so then you can move on to looking at your next project. It tells you this project, um, you, have an, you need to have an eye for image and moving pictures, the ability to use critical thinking skills, accurately apply thought concepts, and sometimes very complex in nature. You must be internet savvy, savvy and have the ability to perform effective search. This project offers, you know, key requirements. Um, so you can go through and read these projects, um, pick out what you would like, and when you find one you want to apply, you hit the apply button. It may have you sign some confidentiality agreements and so forth. Uh, once you apply for jobs, um, you will go into a review process with Appen. Um, you can find all the jobs that you've applied for and your status at, on the review process up here in the corner where it says you have 23 active processes. This will show you everything that you've currently applied for. You've also got this applied button, but if you click the you have 23 active processes, you'll get a screen that says that looks like this and it'll say your current processes. Now this shows everything that I've currently applied for and most of them will just say view status and if I click view status I can see the status of my application. So I registered for the project is complete and the basic qualification package needs to be reviewed by app and that's in progress. So if it says view status most of the time you're waiting for Appen to review your application and decide whether they want to move you to the next steps of a project. Uh, the general process for a project is the first, the application. You apply, you find a project that you would like to complete and you apply for it. The second step is Appen reviews your qualifications that you put in your profile and any additional questions you answer during the um, application process and decides if they think you are a good fit for the project. If they would like to move forward with you, the next step would be they send you the guidelines or basically training guide for the project for you to review, read over, get familiar with how it works, and then you have to take a quiz slash test and pass that. Once you pass the test, um, they will start onboarding you or giving you access to work the jobs and that is kind of how that process works. So looking through here, we can see most of mine right now, I was working projects in you know October, November, December that just ended. Most of mine say view status, but once you have been selected um, to continue and move forward in the application process with the project, you'll see your view status changes to view task, which I have right here. And then it tells me complete the following, a screening quiz. So if I click on view task, this will lead me into the quiz that I have to complete. And you need to just not answer the questions. You need to um, actually read everything first. So it says this qualification exam is used to assess your ability to provide professional level service for this project. Find the guidelines of this below link. So what I would do before I even start on the quiz is I would open the link to the guidelines and it says project guidelines updated January 6th and I would open the guidelines which should be a PDF document and the PDF document should tell you how you would complete the project, what exactly the project is, how they want you to work it, how, you know, it would, it's basically a training guide. So you would read this, you would get familiar with it, then you would come back and complete this quiz. Um, now I can't, I've signed um, non-disclosure agreements so I can't actually show inside um, of the actual active work environments and I can't show the answers to my questions or, or anything. So I am going to complete this quiz at a later time when I am not filming. Um, but this is the next step and then if you pass the quiz um, with a high enough score, the the project name will automatically, if you go back to your projects tab and you come to my projects, you will then be able to find that project in your projects list and then it will have a button like this that says work this and then once you click work this, it'll you're, you'll have access to the guidelines that you had in the quiz so you can always refer back to those and it'll tell you different things about getting started with the project and all that. It'll give you all the information you need to actively start working. 
you will also receive if you pass the test congratulation emails you've passed next steps emails from Appen and all that so that is how you apply for jobs and get hired so next I just want to talk a little bit about once you get hired for a project what is the work schedule and pay and all look like because that's why we're really interested in working um, and spending all of our time sitting at a computer is because we want to get paid so with the search evaluation and social media jobs that I have worked in the past most of them have a, a requirement of at least 20 hours a week they want you to commit to at least 20 hours a week uh, they do understand that people take family time family vacations people get sick so generally most of the projects that I've worked on um, they have a form that you can fill out and submit to your project manager letting them know that you are not going to be working your 20 hours a week if you cannot meet the requirements um, so that you don't get penalized for that um, they do ask that you give them a reason why like I'm on a family vacation or I'm sick um, I have turned in a few forms in the past and I have never gotten kicked out of a project or penalized for it so I think just communication there is key um, they ask you to commit to the 20 hours a week but if you can't it's absolutely fine as long as you keep in contact with them and let them know that it's a temporary situation um, now if you continue week after week to not work the hours that they're hiring you to work it is possible that you can get kicked off the project and they'll replace you with someone else um, so with that being said um, because people leave projects or get kicked off um, because they don't log in and work their hours and Athen really needs the work to get done they are under a contract to get this work done within a certain time frame they really need to have workers that are dependable and can log in and work so for that reason they often over hire and what I mean by that is when we we saw that I got invited to take the quiz for the test even if I pass that test and it goes into my projects they may not immediately give me access to work the project and so I may be a worker that is on basically a wait list or standby list they may be full at the moment and have enough workers currently working that project but if I pass the test I get on the list of approved workers and so next time they have people leave the project quit the project they have work that's not getting done they will then send me an email and say jump in and, and start working you may start working so your access to work a project can be delayed um, I have only ever had that happen once most of the projects that I got hired to do I was able to start within a week or so um, and that was because it takes a little while to set up access if you don't already have access to some of the work systems I did have to wait about a week to for my access to fully get set up um, when I first started but that is just just something to be mindful of um, I have worked mo multiple projects before especially you've seen the $1,600 that I made in December of, of this past year in 2021 I was working two projects at the same time so I was working 40 hours a week I was working my 20 hours on one project and my 20 hours on another project um, so I had a consistent 40 hours now some projects occasionally even though they're for 20 hours a week before they hire additional workers they will give their current workers um, an option to work extra hours and when you work extra hours it's just that you can work extra hours to try to to do more work um, because Appen does have a time frame they're trying to get the work done in um, so when I had the two projects I actually received extra hours emails for both so I went ahead that week I worked my 20 hours in each project and then I might have worked 10 extra hours in one five extra in in the other um, so projects do give extra hours above and beyond the 20 some of them go up to 30 some go to 38 some go to a full 40 hour work week so it really just depends on what is needed for the project how many hours you will get in a week but most of them do require you to commit to 20 hours so let's just go back to the invoices for a minute and let's talk about how you actually once you're actively working how you get paid from Appen so in Appen every month um, you'll see a see this create button under the my invoices tab you can only create one invoice per month 
um, for at least the United States, they pay only once a month. So for all the work that I did from December 1st to December 31st, will be paid around the 14th or 15th of the, the next month. They pay the 14th or 15th of the following month. So any my month ran from December 1st to December 31st, and then the payment date on that is January 14th, 15th. So I did just get paid um, my biggest month yet. Um, so for January, I can only have one invoice created. It includes all work and all jobs I do the entire month of January. It will run from January 1st to January 31st. So on February 1st, um, when a new month starts, I will log in, I will look at my January invoice, and I will approve it and submit it, and then it gets paid on February 14th or 15th. So we're in here looking... Um, um, at the, the pay and I'll open up my December invoice to kind of show you. There's two types of projects. There are self-reported projects and there is um, what they call auto-generated invoices. So this one project that I was working, the invoice auto-generated, but the other project I was working, I had to report my own hours. And this is better shown on this invoice. So if I hit edit this invoice, because this is my current month, notice I cannot change anything about this line because it's auto-generated. And Appen, when you look at your invoice, will tell you any projects that you have that have auto-generated invoice. These are the projects that you just wait and your hours will show up in your invoice for you. If you have a project that you have that is not listed here, then you have to self-track and self-report your hours. So if I was working on a project um, that had self-reporting hours, I would come in here, I would click add new row, and I would put in the date that I was working. So if I was working the hours today, I'd put in today's date. I'd select the project that I was working, and then I would put in how many hours I had worked, and then I would hit save draft. And I would not submit because you can only create one invoice per month. Um, I would wait till the month ended and the first of the next month I'd come in here, I reviewed everything to make sure it was okay and at that point I would submit um, my invoice. Let's go ahead and delete this and back out of this because I didn't work so I don't want to save that. Um, but that is just how Appen pays. They pay once a month and it's the 14th to the 15th of the month following the end of the month that you worked. The last thing that is very important to know about Appen is um, they have a few help features um, if you ever get stuck and need help. One big thing that you always want to refer to if you're actively working in an app in every month is the social tab. They will normally have someone post um, about invoicing and getting paid your money that you've been making for the month. Um, they tell you when the auto-rated auto-generated invoices will be complete, um, the deadline for submitting your invoice. They normally don't make you submit it actually on the 1st of February. They give you a few days. When pay date is, so like um, this will payment will be sent on the 14th. Um, so we did get paid on the 14th of, Jan um, yeah, of January for December's payment. Um, so you always want to make sure you check the social tab. Um, another great thing that Appen has is this chat. When you hit chat, it will open a new window. And you'll have some, what's called channel over here. And this will list all the projects that you work on. Each project will have its own chat room. And everyone that is currently actively working on that project has access to that chat room. So you can help each other ask questions, receive help, give feedback, all that kind of thing. Um, so this is a great feature. And then you actually have the help button. If you hit the help button, it will send you to basically a ticketing system where you can open up or submit a uh, help ticket um, or system support ticket to get tech help or submit any questions that you have for access. It is a very legitimate work from home job. You can set your own hours and set your own schedule. 
Um, you know, as far as the project requiring 20 hours, they don't set a schedule for you. They allow you to work whenever you want to. So you can log in on a Monday and work for two hours and log in on a Saturday and work for six hours. Um, when you get your 20 hours in, is up to you. So it's a very flexible work from home job that you can actually make a lot of money at. Thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. If you found this information helpful, please click the like button or share this video to help me out. Um, also, if there's any other work from home or make money projects that you would like me to review or investigate, please leave them in the comments below because as a single mother, I am always trying to find new work from home opportunities. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.